only a few weeks old and already. Pain and suffering is all they know in their short lives. The cry from a baby born addicted, higher pitched than that of a healthy baby, all because the moment their umbilical cord is cut, so is their heroin supply. I tried to quit at least three or four times during my pregnancy. Um, and I, I just couldn't, anytime I had enough to, money to try to make a bag, um, my brain was already there before my body. This mother, who we'll call Sarah, says she was a fully functioning heroin addict who every morning, afternoon, and evening snorted the drug throughout her pregnancy. She spent $80 a day on the opioid, fully aware she was sacrificing her unborn son's health. She says the heroin addiction was stronger than the bond with her unborn baby, and at the same time, her firstborn was put at risk. When I'd go away from my child and use, I would um, come back in, cook, clean, do laundry, do bedtime stories. Uh, that was just my normal way of living. Nobody knew I was using. I went to all my doctor's appointments. Sarah's deep, dark secret was exposed the moment her son was born. He was full term, but underweight and inconsolable. Doctors ran tests knowing something wasn't right. And after receiving the results, Sarah learned about the heart wrenching process of weaning her second son off of heroin. I cried all the time. <laughs> just staring at him, knowing there was nothing I could do to fix it. Why'd you say it was painful for you? Uh, it's painful to know that I, I did that to my child. That I had, you know, because I couldn't quit, um, he had to hurt for me. A newborn physically withdraws from heroin just like an adult, which often results in trembling, crying, vomiting, increased muscle tone, and even seizures. <laughs> No amount of swaddling, holding, or rocking can soothe an addicted baby. Instead, they're given morphine in small dosages that slowly taper off. Dr. Samarth Shukla works in the NICU at U of Health and says addicted mothers don't fully understand the effects of their own selfishness. It's painful for them, uh, and hence you see them with excessive irritability, continuous crying, they are, we are not able to console them. Um, they, they cannot feed well, they have problems with weight gain, sweating. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the highest numbers of infected babies in Maine, Vermont, West Virginia, Tennessee, and right here in Florida. And the problem is the worst right here in Duval County, according to UF Health's records. In 2014, 121 babies were treated for neonatal abstinence syndrome. In 2015, that number jumped to 165 babies treated. And so far this year, 137 babies have been born suffering through withdrawals. That's just you of health. As for all of Duval County, sadly, state statistics show a bigger problem. For every 10,000 live births between 2011 and 2013, Duval County had 450 heroin addicted babies, followed by Hillsborough County with 324, Pasco County, 256, Brevard County with 231, and then Volusia County had 201 heroin addicted babies. We have been spending more than a billion dollars every year behind treatment of this condition, which is in major part a completely preventable condition. Far too often, newborns aren't only exposed to heroin. The pregnant addicts are often alcoholics, taking prescription painkillers and experimenting with other drugs. The incidence of drug usage among pregnant moms has been significantly increasing. In fact, the number of babies born addicted to heroin has been on the increase since 2011 following a statewide pill mill crackdown ordered by the Attorney General. This building here in Orange Park used to be one of those pill mills, but following the raids statewide, heroin became a popular drug of choice. The reason? It's cheaper, about $10 a hit, and easy to get locally. Doctors say these babies will likely suffer long-term neurological problems, and nearly one in 10 can expect to suffer from hepatitis C in their lifetime. They also have a greater chance of becoming a drug addict later in life. That babies who have been exposed to drugs in their early neonatal fetal life eventually are at high risk for being drug dependent. 
So they definitely can go to drug usage or being drug dependent in future. The addiction doesn't end with the taxing treatment for these newborns. Developmental delays can hunt a baby addicted to heroin for life. It's something this mother wishes she had known before she gave birth. And she has this message for addicted mothers. You don't have to deal with that pain anymore. Um, and anyone that is using or addicted to using knows that pain of constantly having to chase the high. Um, there's options. Um, I never even knew a detox existed. I didn't know that a, re a rehab existed.